Hey everyone, grab a cup of coffee and settle in, because today we're chatting about something that I absolutely love, and I bet you do too, garlic. You know, that amazing little plant that can turn any meal into a masterpiece. Whether you've got green thumbs or you're just trying your hand at gardening, growing garlic is not only super fun, but oh, the flavors you get from your own garden are just unbeatable. Let's get started and dig into the wonderful world of garlic together. Garlic isn't just a kitchen staple, it's also steeped in history and has been cherished for its flavor and medicinal properties for thousands of years. But did you know that growing garlic in your own garden is simpler than you might think? In this video, I'll be your guide to everything you need to know about growing garlic, from selecting the right variety to planting, caring for your garlic plants, and finally, harvesting and storing your garlic. We'll go through each step in detail, so by the end of this video, you'll be well equipped to grow your own bountiful garlic harvest. Whether you're looking to spice up your cooking with the freshest ingredients or simply enjoy the wonders of gardening, this guide is for you. So grab your gardening gloves and let's get started on this exciting journey to grow our own garlic. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more gardening tips, and share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Now that we're all jazzed up about the idea of growing our own garlic, let's take a moment to truly get acquainted with this little powerhouse of flavor and fun. Think of garlic not just as a trusty companion in the kitchen, but as your partner in a gardening journey. Meet garlic, or as the science folks say, Allium sativum. This gem from the onion family isn't just famous for spicing up our dishes or its health perks. What's super cool is garlic comes in different shapes and sizes. Mainly, we've got two types to chat about, soft neck and hard neck. Soft neck garlic, the kind you usually find in grocery stores, is kind of the chill, easygoing sibling. It's perfect for first timers in the garden, adapting like a champ to different weather and hanging out longer on your shelf. Ever seen those artsy garlic braids? That's soft neck showing off. Now enter hard neck garlic, the bold and artsy type, adored by chefs for its deep, intricate flavors. Hardnecks are the cool kids, sprouting these tasty green shoots called scapes that are a culinary treat. They're a bit pickier, loving cooler climates, and might test your gardening skills a tad more. But believe me, they're totally worth the adventure. Growing your own garlic is like embarking on a flavor expedition in your backyard. Imagine cooking with garlic that's gone from a wheat clove to a full, proud bulb under your care. Talk about satisfaction. Whether you're leaning towards the laid-back vibes of soft neck or the gourmet allure of hard neck, there's a garlic type just waiting to thrive in your garden. Up next, we're going to guide you through picking the perfect garlic variety for your garden. Now that we're clued in on the difference between soft neck and hard neck garlic, it's time for the fun part, picking the right variety for your garden. This is like setting up the stage for a fantastic garlic show in your backyard. The world of garlic is full of exciting varieties, each with its own personality in terms of flavor, size, and even color. Let's break it down and help you find the best garlic variety for you. In the soft neck corner, we've got superstars like Silverskin and Artichoke. Silverskin is the long-staying guest in your pantry, with a strong flavor that's perfect for those who love their garlic to pack a punch. Then there's Artichoke Garlic, the friendlier, milder choice. Ideal if you're not into super intense garlic vibes in your meals. For the hard neck fans out there, get ready for varieties like Rocambole, Porcelain, and Purple Stripe. Rocambole is all about rich flavor and easy peeling, a true garden treasure. Porcelain varieties are the big, bold players with large cloves and a taste that speaks volumes. And if you're into aesthetics, Purple Stripe Garlic will win your heart with its gorgeous looks and deep, satisfying flavor. Remember, your local climate is a big player in this game. Soft necks are the champions in warmer areas, while hard necks strut their stuff in cooler climates. But here's the good news. There's almost always a garlic variety that'll fit right into your garden. Why not mix things up? Try growing a few different varieties to see what thrives and tickles your taste buds in your garden. It's a great way to experiment with new flavors and textures. So go ahead, pick the garlic that makes you the most excited. Next, we're going to dive into the world of planting. All right, now that we're experts on the different kinds of garlic, let's get into the nitty gritty of when to plant these little wonders. Just like baking the perfect cake, timing is everything in gardening. 
especially with garlic. Think of garlic as a bit of a cool season plant. It loves to get its roots cozy before winter. That's why fall is the prime time for planting. Picture this, it's a crisp autumn day, the leaves are turning and you're out in the garden planting your future garlic stars. This is usually around late September to November for most places, but what if you're living where the sun loves to hang out a bit more, like in warmer climates? Well, you've got some extra wiggle room. You can even wait until early winter to plant. The big thing to remember is that garlic needs a cold spell. Think at least a few weeks of temperatures under 40 degrees Fahrenheit years, or four degrees Celsius. This chilly period is like a secret ingredient for great garlic bulbs. Now you might be wondering, can I plant in spring? Sure, it's doable, but think of fall planting as your golden ticket. Spring planted garlic gets a shorter runway to grow, which can mean smaller bulbs. So grab your calendars and circle those planting dates. Getting the timing right sets the stage for some fabulous garlic growing. Coming up next, we'll roll up our sleeves and jump into prepping your soil and planting those cloves. It's about to get real fun and a bit messy in the garden. The perfect garlic planting adventure awaits. Now that we've circled our calendars, it's time to get everything set for the big day, planting our garlic. Just like setting up the perfect campsite, a bit of prep work goes a long way in gardening. First up, the foundation of it all, soil. Garlic is pretty particular. It loves soil that's like a fluffy, well-drained bed, rich in nutrients. A good trick is to mix in some compost or well-rotted manure a few weeks before you plant. This is like giving your soil a nourishing smoothie, packed with all the good stuff. pH levels in soil can sound a bit like science class, but it's simple. Aim for a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. That's the sweet spot for garlic. Not sure about your soil's pH? No sweat. You can grab a home testing kit from your local garden shop and play detective. Location, location, location. It's not just for real estate. Your garlic will be sunbathing a lot. So pick a spot in your garden where the sun's rays are a regular guest at least six hours a day. This sunshine is key for growing nice plump bulbs. When you're ready to plant, think of garlic as needing personal space, about six inches apart from each other and about two inches deep. This spacing is like having enough elbow room in a crowded place. It lets each garlic plant breathe and flourish. Plus, good airflow around your plants is like a natural guard against fungal party crashers. And hey, don't forget to play defense against weeds. Clear out any unwanted green gate crashers in your planting area. Garlic isn't a fan of sharing its space or nutrients. All right, with your soil primed and the perfect spot picked out, you're almost ready to get planting. Up next, we're diving into the hands-on part, the actual planting of your garlic cloves. It's where the magic begins. So gather your cloves, put on your favorite gardening gloves, and let's meet back here for the next chapter in our garlic growing adventure. Here we are at the most thrilling stage, actually planting our garlic. First off, it's time to play a gentle giant and carefully separate your garlic bulbs into individual cloves. Remember, those cloves are like delicate treasures. Keep their papery husk on. It acts like a tiny shield, protecting them as they start their underground journey. Now, let's get down to business. When you place each clove in the ground, think of them like little rockets pointy end up, ready to launch, and the flat root end snugly in the soil. Press each clover about two inches deep into its own little nook, giving them a six inch bubble of personal space. This way they're not bumping elbows with their neighbors and have all the room they need to flourish. Once all your cloves are tucked in their soil beds, gently cover them with soil and pat them in. It's like tucking in a child under a cozy blanket. Then give them a light sprinkle of water just enough to moisten the soil, not a soaking because garlic isn't too fond of waterlogged shoes. A great tip at this point is to dress up your garlic bed with a blanket of mulch. Something like straw or leaves works wonders. Mulch is like a multitasker. It keeps the soil moist, balances the temperature, and fights off those pesky weed invaders. And voila! Your garlic is now all set to transform into beautiful bulbs. Sure, it's a bit of a waiting game until harvest time, but the anticipation is part of the fun. Coming up next, we'll shift gears to the nurturing phase. I'll walk you through the care and keeping of your garlic as it grows, from the right watering techniques to keeping those weeds at bay. Stick around because our garlic journey is just heating up. Your garlic is now tucked away in its soil bed, quietly plotting its transformation into delicious bulbs. 
But our gardening journey doesn't stop here. It's time to focus on caring for your garlic to help it grow up strong and healthy. Let's start with watering. It's like quenching your plant's thirst. Garlic enjoys a steady sip of water, particularly during its early growth stages. Aim to water deeply once a week, making sure the soil is like a moist sponge, damp but not drenched. Be wary of overwatering. Garlic roots don't like a swampy home, as that can lead to rot. As your garlic starts stretching and growing, you'll notice that weeds might want to join the party. They're like uninvited guests hogging the food and drink. In this case, the soil's nutrients and water. Regular weeding is key, and remember, our friend Mulch is great at keeping these party crashers away. Now, when it comes to feeding your garlic, think of it as a light, balanced diet. A bit of slow-release fertilizer early on is great, but go easy on the nitrogen-rich stuff, especially later in the game. Too much nitrogen and your garlic might think it's in a leaf-growing contest instead of focusing on bulbing up. As the season rolls on, your garlic will become more self-sufficient, needing less babysitting. Keep up with the watering when necessary, and maintain your anti-weed vigilance. Garlic is pretty robust once it finds its stride. Next up, we're diving into a bit of garlic doctoring, dealing with pests and diseases. It's an unavoidable part of the gardening world, but don't stress. I've got some handy tips and tricks to keep your garlic happy and thriving, even when those garden gremlins try to cause trouble. Stay tuned. Growing garlic is a journey filled with rewards, but it's not without its challenges. Pests and diseases are part of the game, but don't fret. I'm here to help you tackle these common issues head on, ensuring your garlic thrives. First up, let's talk about garlic rust, a bit of a troublemaker. It's a fungal issue that shows up as tiny orange spots on the leaves. If you spot these, act like a garlic superhero. Remove those affected leaves pronto and cut down on overhead watering to keep the foliage dry. Then there's the not-so-fun onion maggots. These little white larvae love to snack on your garlic's roots and bulbs. Your best defense? Keep them guessing with crop rotation. Don't plant garlic or onions in the same spot repeatedly. Aphids might also try to crash the party. These little sap suckers can be a nuisance on your garlic leaves. A quick spray of water can usually send them packing, or you can bring in the cavalry with natural predators like ladybugs. Prevention is your garden's best armor. Keeping your garden clean and free from plant debris reduces cozy spots for pests. And don't underestimate the power of good plant spacing for air circulation. It's like a natural shield against fungal invasions. If any pests or diseases do show up, the key is to act quickly. Early intervention is easier and often more effective. A bit of watchfulness can save you a lot of trouble, keeping your garlic happy and healthy. Next on our agenda, we're approaching the grand finale, harvesting your garlic. I'll guide you through the signs that tell you your garlic is ready to be harvested and the best ways to do it. So hang tight because the exciting moment of reaping the rewards of your hard work is just up ahead. The time has finally arrived, it's harvest season. This is where we reap the rewards of our hard work, care, and patience in growing garlic. I'm going to walk you through recognizing the perfect harvest moment and how to gently bring your garlic from soil to storage. Garlic usually hits its stride in late spring or early summer, depending on your planting time. Here's how you know it's showtime. Keep an eye on the leaves. When the lower ones start to turn brown while the top ones remain green, your garlic is sending a signal. It's almost ready. But don't wait until all the leaves brown. That's like waiting for a cake to smell burnt before taking it out of the oven. To double check, do a little detective work. Gently unearth a plant and take a peek at the bulb. You're looking for well-defined cloves and an intact wrapper. If it looks more not yet than now, just give it a bit more time. When it's time to harvest, remember, it's not a tug of war. Avoid yanking your garlic up by the stems. Gently loosen the soil around them with a fork or shovel and then lift them out with care. After you've gathered your garlic, Brush off the loose soil, but hold off on washing them. Keeping them dry is key. Now, it's curing time, a crucial step for making your garlic last. Find a cool, shaded, well-ventilated spot and give them a few weeks to dry out. Hang them upside down or lay them flat, ensuring they're not crowded. Once the wrappers are dry and the roots feel like brittle wires, your garlic is cured and ready for the pantry. And there we have it from tiny cloves to beautiful bulbs, all grown by you. In our final chapter, 
We'll explore how to store your garlic, and I'll share some common pitfalls to avoid in your garlic growing journey. Stay tuned, there's still a bit more to learn in our garlic adventure. You've done it, a bountiful garlic harvest. Now, let's talk about keeping your garlic in top shape and reflect on a few common missteps in garlic growing, so you're even more prepared next time. And then, storing your garlic right is like finding the perfect spot for your favorite book, where it stays in good condition. Keep your cured garlic in a cool, dry place with plenty of air moving around. Mesh bags or baskets are fantastic for this. Steer clear of plastic bags or containers. They can trap moisture and lead to a sad, rotted garlic fate. Depending on the variety, your garlic can play the long game in storage. Soft necks usually outlast hard necks. A little tip. Use your older garlic first for that stronger, punchier flavor. Now let's sidestep some common garlic growing pitfalls. Grocery store cloves. They might seem convenient, but they're often treated to prevent sprouting and might not be the best fit for your local climate. Stick to seed garlic from trusted sources. Shallow planting. Garlic is no fan of shallow living. Planting cloves about two inches deep gives them a cozy, protective home against temperature swings and helps roots develop well. Crowding the stage. Like having enough elbow room in a crowded room, garlic needs space. Too close, and you might end up with tiny bulbs and a higher chance of disease. Soil neglect. Soil health is garlic wealth. Well-drained, nutrient-rich soil is garlic's happy place. Keep up with compost and mind your soil's pH for the best results. Then steering clear of these mistakes will set you up for garlic success. And that's a wrap on our garlic growing saga. From choosing the perfect variety to nailing storage, it's been quite the journey. Remember, every garden is a classroom, and every season teaches us something new. If this guide has been helpful, show some love with a like and subscribe. Drop your garlic tales in the comments. I'd love to hear how your garden grows. Until next time, happy gardening, and here's to many more green adventures.